Hey guys, it's Tat, for those of you who don't know me, and welcome back to All Ages of Geek. Today, we are going to talk about Animal Crossing, since the new game is officially out. Um, I wanted to tell you my top 10 favorite things about the Animal Crossing franchise. Yes, I am in my car right now, weird. Anyway, number 10 would definitely be getting the villagers photos. So I remember when I first discovered this, my favorite villager, Philbert, gave me his photo and I was like, this is a thing? I didn't know it was a thing. So I got super excited. So if you want to get your favorite villagers photos or just any villagers photos, you have to do certain things um, to make them happy. So definitely talk to them a lot. So make the effort to talk to them at least like five times a day tasks for them so when they ask for like fish or fruit you want to get give them what they want they don't ask for a specific type of like fish or bug definitely give them something that's not like your common like you know horse mackerel or sea bass or any of those common fish that we don't like getting because that's all we get and we can't make a lot of bells from them but you don't want to give them that you want to give them something rare so they feel special and then their their friendship levels increase and then they will give you their photo so you can have their photo in your house um this way if your favorite villager does move out which we don't want um you'll have their photo to remember all those times you spent together number nine would definitely be the soundtrack um, not only KK's music, but just, you know, the music in general is incredible in Animal Crossing. Um, I think anyone can agree with me. I, I, everyone can agree with me that <laughs> it's just incredible. Like listening to the music, you could just like sit there and just like not even play the game and just listen to the music. It's so calming. It's so cute. And I love it. Number eight would definitely be being able to create your own designs um, for shirts and then having the villagers wear them. So like, it's really cute if you design like a really, really nice, cute little outfit that like represents your town or whatever. And then you see your favorite villager wearing it and you're like, okay, thank you. You like my design, you like me. It's a great time and we're all having fun. Number seven would definitely be being able to customize your house. So you could basically get any furniture set that you want. You don't have to match anything. You can mix and match. You can put your favorite music in your radio. You can put whatever you want and it just becomes this fun, what do I want my house to look like kind of game. And you get inspiration from the villagers in your town and see how they decorate their house and what kind of music they get. And it's really, really cool that you can customize your own house. Number six is definitely getting letters from your favorite villager. Um, it's just something that you usually when you start the game, you go to your mailbox and you have a little note and it might be from your favorite villager, you know, gifting you with something or saying happy birthday, or you might even get a letter from your mom, which is sometimes so random. Um, and it's just really fun when you start the game and you have letters in your mailbox and you're like anticipating like, who is this from? What is this about? Number five would definitely be getting fruit from your friend's um, town. So let's say that your, your town's fruit is a peach and then your friend's town's fruit is a pear. Um, it's fun to go to their town and take um, the fruit and then plant it into your town. And then it's just like a memory of the time that you visited your favorite friend's town. Um, I remember me and Katja when we would play, <laughs> um, we would always make sure we have different town fruits so that we could trade um, whichever type of fruit that we had. Katja usually had peaches and I would usually have pears. It was really funny. <laughs> Number four is definitely um, when you shake the trees and then furniture falls out. Um, I just think it's so funny because like if you think about it logically, if we did that in real life, imagine if you shook a tree and then like a whole bed fell out. I just always thought that was funny. So it's definitely one of my favorite things to do is shake the trees. Um, you either get bells, like a furniture piece or bees. So hopefully you don't get bees, but if you do, medicine helps. Number three is definitely hitting the rocks with your shovel and then bells come out. Um, it's really fun because number one, you get bills and you can buy more things or pay off your loan to Tom Nook. Or it's just fun to anticipate which rock is going to have the bells in it this time. Number two, this one's kind of mean, but when your least favorite villager, which we all have, here are some of mine, when your least favorite villager decides to move, um, usually when you want a villager to leave, they don't. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Um, so it takes a while for your least favorite villager to leave. Um, I know me and Katja always have the problem of getting our least favorite characters in the game. Um, 
and it always takes forever to get them out to leave. So it's really fun for me. <laughs> I know this is so mean. It's really fun to go into your least favorite villager's house and see that they have the boxes packed up. But it's not fun when your favorite villager is like, hey, I want to leave. And then you have to be like, no, please don't stay forever, please. Number one is finally when you get all of your favorite villagers in your town. So this way, instead of focusing on when will my favorite villager move in, you are focusing on paying that debt that you have to Tom Nook and decorating the house so that it could be what you want it to be and you know focusing on finishing all the tasks in the game and catching all the fish and all the bugs and getting all the fossils and that way all you have to focus on is what you want to do and not worry about when will my favorite villager move into my town so that is my top 10 favorite things about animal crossing um i'm super excited to play the new game and if you don't have the game yet all ages of geek will definitely be streaming it um so definitely tune into that um and let us know who your favorite villager is. My favorite villager is Filbert. And I know Koch's favorite villager is Pudge. Um, who is your favorite villager? Let us know. But yeah, we're super excited to see how the game is and what is in store for you and your favorite villager. Until next time, goodbye, my friends.